Hi, seniors. It's Miss Lansden here. I just wanted to say congratulations. All of your hard work and perseverance has paid off. I am sad that I had to hang up one of my favorite shirts, but I still believe that your class, the class of 2020, is one of vision, strength, compassion, and full of the best humans ever. It has been my honor and blessing to be your counselor. I will hold that honor close to my heart forever. Many of you have expressed your concern over my lack of social media skills, so I wanted to reassure you that I have taken your comments to heart and have been working really hard on improving them. Here is a little bit of proof. My Instagram and Snapchat have never looked better. We have no way to know what the future holds or if we will be able to hold a traditional graduation, but I wanted to say, no matter what, I will dance for you and scream with pride, holy cow, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. You deserve every bit of happiness that this world has to offer. class of 2020. Good job on getting to graduation, even though it's unusual circumstances. I want to give a shout out to the seniors in my future business leaders of America group. You guys did a great job of being a um, very flexible in doing our state conference in a virtual environment. And then also I want to give a shout out to the seniors in the IQ credit union branch. You guys were groundbreaking students and doing something new that's never been done at our school before and you set the, the standard for every class afterwards so congratulations on your graduation Castillo and you know what can I say we uh, we miss you we love you we sure wish that we could be together and obviously we wish that things hadn't ended like it did but you know we'll be back together again someday see you soon on zoom Congratulations on a great four years here at Heritage High School. We are going to miss you. Go T-Wolf! Hey seniors, Mrs. Perez here and I, first of all, I want to say congratulations. I know this year didn't end up being what you wanted it to be, but you had 12 years before that you've worked hard and you've gotten to this point. I want to say to my student store kids, you rock. You made hand washing and wearing gloves cool before everyone else had to join us. Um, you ran a great store to my sports and my DECA uh, seniors. Congratulations on your seasons. And then to all my marketing kids who are graduating. I'm sorry that we didn't get to finish our year together, but I know you're gonna be successful. Hey, make sure that you continue to innovate and explore and bring someone with you because then you'll be successful. See you all, come visit, bye-bye. I hope you've all been able to take this moment as an opportunity, the possibilities to help the world right now are so vast. Now is your time. We are going through this challenging time and it is very easy to feel overwhelmed with the obstacles in front of us. Life has thrown us different challenges and we are all facing them in our own unique ways. But the flip side of that coin is that we are also given this incredible opportunity to really do some thinking and reflecting. Life doesn't slow down very often. The world is constantly changing around us. Change is the only true constant that we have. It's a good reminder. 
of what's really important. So lately, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And when I look around me for inspiration, whether it's on a really good day or on a day where I feel like I'm just in a funk, I see inspiration in all the little things, often my kids. So when I look at them, I see curiosity and determination and joy and happiness. With our one-year-olds, he finds excitement and curiosity in everything. He buckles and unbuckles everything that he can. Our four-year-old finds beauty and happiness all around the world. She goes out into the yard and she sees a flower and she says that this flower is about to open and it dances for us. And typically we would just say that it's a blossom, but she sees a flower and she says, mommy, the flower is opening up to the world. And that's a beautiful perspective. When I try to think about what words I'd like to share with you, it's hard to know what one thing I could say that would be meaningful for each of you and also say true to who I am. But being who I am, the one thing I'd like to say to you is to find the beauty in the world. Find it, appreciate it, and share it. At this time when life has challenged you, please fill your hearts and minds with something you've enjoyed during this quarantine, something you've learned about yourself or the world or something you're looking forward to find the beauty. I challenge you to look up this song, Beauty in the World by Macy Gray. And you can sing or you can dance or you can laugh and think about me just getting my groove on with my family. But no matter what, find your own beauty. Find it, appreciate it, and share it. Much love to you all. Hey class of 2020, um, it's Mr. Angelo. I'm in my quarantine bunker. Uh, I don't know what day it is. Day 50, day 150. Uh, I don't even know if we're in the year 2020, but if we are, this is for you. Uh, I know this isn't the most ideal situation in what you pictured senior year would be like, um, but we'll get through this. And when we get through this, you'll look back and you'll say, man, that was crazy and we got through it. And some of you, have had opportunities to take care of yourself, take care of others, uh, show kindness, uh, being grateful, uh, perfecting TikTok dances, uh, looking for what you're passionate about. And I encourage you to use those opportunities. Uh, you guys are uniquely made and you have unique purposes and skills and talents. And I just wanna say it was awesome seeing those in you guys this uh, these past four years. Uh, it was great learning with you and I can't wait to see the amazing things you do in the future, the, th the things you use those skills, talents, uh, and passions and purposes for. Um, so good luck uh, in the future, in the next chapter, whatever that may be for you. Um, yeah. And I need to go take a shower because I don't know the last time I took a shower and I think I think that smell of rotten onions and old coffee filters is me that's gross good luck hello heritage 2020 senior graduates well here it is it's your moment all your hard work of years and years growing out throughout the schools with passing classes failing and stressing out you finally did it you're graduating I'm really honored to have been around you. Maybe I've taught you or I was a part of your event somehow supporting you. It's truly, truly, um, this has been an unexpected, non-traditional year. Uh, you missed out on yearbook signing and senior awards night, prom night. Geez, there's so many things that were just kind of thrown out the window. Hopefully we'll get to bring all those back in the near future. It's not easy to say goodbye through a video especially. I wanted to spend more time with you, especially these last few months of school, but I guess this is it. You've proven that nothing is impossible. You've been resilient, you've stayed strong, you've stayed connected, and you've also probably found some humor throughout the toilet paper frenzy when stores were wiped out. What was that even about anyways? You know, I know that you've been connecting with each other through social media, and your number one go-to is most likely Snapchat. I'm pretty sure of that. You're very lucky to have the technology. 
I'm feeling that you are the pioneers to break the old traditions of graduation norms. Through this experience, we've got new ideas and concepts developing for the future. You get to always tell the world that I was one of those, the class of 2020 quarantine seniors. You've got a story now. I have a quote from Dr. Seuss that I'd like to share with you all. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. It's really fitting with this situation right now because your high school experience all the years has now become your memory. I will cherish you, I'm proud of you, and I'm honored to be a part of your world. Congratulations, Heritage. You finally did it. Hey, seniors, I just want to wish you guys good luck and congratulations on the great four years here at Heritage High School. We are going to miss you. Let's see, Wolf. Leslie, the art teacher at Heritage. I'm here to honor two seniors who've really done outstanding work in the art department this year. The first is Amanda Aiken, and Amanda is our 2D Artist of the Year. She does drawing, painting, printmaking, all equally well. She takes her ideas to a very high artistic level, and she's qualified for district art shows as well as the ESD regional show. Amanda's an all-around great student, she is very dependable, kind, helpful to everyone, and I'm really proud to have been working with her during her time at Heritage. The second for three-dimensional art is Oliver Kesey, and Oliver has done a, a super job this year in the 3D art department, and he has run away with every assignment and taken them to incredible levels of creativity. Um, his work is exquisitely crafted, he has great skills with sculpture and tools, and um, he strives to excel and succeeds in everything that he does. Oliver is also a great all-around person, helpful, kind, and considerate in the classroom. I'm really grateful to have had these students in my class. And also, to all seniors, remember, throughout your lifetime, make art. It helps you to relax. It helps you to grow. And it's fun. It's good for your brain. I wish you all the very best. My name is Nancy Keller, and I will be presenting the award for the Agriculture Student of the Year. This year, we selected two outstanding individuals whose class choices and future career goals best represent the Ag program. I have had the pleasure of having both of these individuals in my classroom. Their work ethic and determination will take them far in their future career choices. The students receiving the award this year are Tanya Santos and Marley Epperly. Congratulations to you both from Ms. Fred Bonney, Ms. Blair, Ms. LaFave, and myself, and good luck to you in your future. I'm Sue Manchin. I am one of the engineering teachers at Heritage High School, and I have the great honor to present Zachary Hosted with the Engineering Student of the Year. Now, Zach 
has been really interested in engineering and he did every engineering class you can imagine. He started out physics through engineering as a freshman, um, one and two, engineering design, one and two, mathematical manufacturing, one and two, and IDM, which is imagine it, design it, make it, one, two, three, and four. He's taken all those engineering classes, and on top of all that, he also worked with the capstone class and helped build library boxes, uh, pallets. Um, they did the design, and he and another student were actually physically making them out of pallets. Um, he is not only a fantastic engineering student, he is a great team player, enthusiastic, willing to do anything that is asked, willing to put out his best effort as possible. Um, I know he'll be successful with anything he does, and I hope it's engineering, um, and I hope he comes back and lets us know that that's what he ends up majoring in. So congratulations, Zach. Great job. What an honor and privilege it is to be here to present these awards to these two special ASL seniors from the class of 2020. Looking back on these two students, it's truly from their first day of class, they sat there bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, just really intrigued, motivated, curious. Um, and they just started from the get-go throughout all the years. They've never been afraid to dive into the deaf world. They are really, uh, they've just been fascinated with deaf culture to learning signs, uh, really volunteering, sacrificing so much of their time in and outside of class to make sure all, including themselves, their class, or their partners, succeeded in their works. Truly, the two of them, uh, these awards goes to two special and perfect people who has been just wonderful to work with as a team. Since their freshman year, they have never been afraid to go host or lead at deaf events. Um, we like the deaf kids holiday party we have or the great uh, big Easter egg hunt that we host. Really, there's so much more. The list goes on and on. Signing idols, signing out, ASL competitions. There's just always been so extra and amazing. I'm honored and proud to work with these two. The both of them have really a way of being humble, they're very helpful, they're very inspiring, and it's really been a joy to see them and their peers interact. Everyone seems to just love to be around the two. These two have the skill and the talent to score in life, and they could do whatever they want, like just like many of you. They really do the extra, the extra hard work. And I just love to have been a witness to all of that with all of their four years. So the two awards goes to Angelina Barclay and Savannah Kelly. The two of you have been really amazing and I'm so sad to see you go. Just like all your classmates, you're all going off into the world. But I definitely don't have any doubts or no fears for the two of you will be doing a wonderful things. So thank you, congratulations, you deserve this. And again, many thanks and graduation pa. This year's marketing award goes to Savannah Kelly. I have had such a great time with Savannah, not only in my classes, but in DECA. She has been a wonderful student and mentor to a lot of students. This year she wrote a four, co wrote a 40 page paper based off of our Wolf Den Cafe, receiving gold certification from DECA. She also won a Shark Tank contest in the state of Washington using her passion of ASL and her business savvy. I am so excited to see what Savannah has down the road in the future. Whatever she chooses, she is going to be successful. Savannah will miss you next year, and I had a lot of fun hanging out with you this year. Congratulations, marketing student Savannah Kelly. Hi, I'm Mr. Strong, and I'd like to announce the Senior Awards for Digital Arts. First of all, starting with digital photography. 
And the award goes to Jalia Metz. I've had Jalia as a student for three years now, from Photo One to AP Photography. She excelled in both of those classes, as well as in Mr. Weyrenen's Photo Two class. I'm proud to say Jalia is the best photographer I have as a student at Heritage. Her hard work, her tenacity, her intellectual curiosity means that her photos have a dazzling array of creativity. Up next is Mr. Younger who will be presenting the award for 3D animation. Thank you Mr. Strong. I appreciate uh, you doing the first award. Um, I am here to announce the second senior award for Digital Arts CTE. Um, us three, Troy Wayanen, Adam Strong, and myself, Nathan Younger, uh, all had this student uh, in their class. Everything from it sounds like graphic design to game design to morning announcements to photography. Um, he even dabbled in animation and any kind of digital arts that he could get his hands on. Um, he also was a leader of the D and D club at our school. So he showed great leadership skills and he was just really great at helping other students. This is my second year teaching and he helped me um, my first time teaching game design. He was a great asset. He helped with students that were falling behind. He helped students follow along with code um, even better than myself. So uh, I want to thank uh, him as a teacher that he did a great job helping with leadership in my classroom and that would be Mason Loggins. Um, I had him for photography, game design, uh, and he was great in both classes. The photography pushed his creativity and worked so hard at um, trying to always make his art artwork better and more creative. He even took the back of my head and added Nicolas Cage to the back of my head. So um, hopefully one day he can show you that Nicolas Cage photography photo he did. Um, but he was a wonderful student, uh, very creative. Um, he helped, like I said, his leadership skills are great. He'll help other students when they're behind. He'll help other students that are struggling. Um, he'll help the teacher. Uh, his morning announcement skills are amazing. I, I have a feeling that we're gonna see him either as an entertainer or somewhere in the arts where he's gonna be doing video or animation or photography. Because I feel like with his passion and his creativity, he's gonna go far. So again, I'll give a round of applause uh, to Mason Loggins. Um, the second CTE Digital Arts Award for Seniors. Congratulations, buddy, and have a wonderful summer. And if you uh, follow your dreams, you will succeed, I promise. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christy Rice, here to present the award for Family Consumer Science Seniors of the Year. And uh, the first person I want to talk about is someone I've known for years now. Um, this person has always impressed me with their dedication to school, dedication to sports, uh, passion for life, um, very um, disciplined. Disciplined is a great word I would describe this person. Um, and even like their eating habits, their schoolwork. Um, this person's nice to everyone, treats everyone equal, checks in with everyone. Um, I remember at one point I had a death in the family and he checked in with me, you know, to make sure everything's right, see if, you know, my family needed anything. Um, and his sense of humor is amazing. Uh, he has been a heritage tea wolf these past couple years and next year he will be going to Fort Lewis College to be a Skyhawk in Fort Lewis College in Durango, Colorado. So I'd like to congratulate Braden Sitman woo, to be um, our Family Consumer Science Male Senior of the Year. Congratulations. The other person I'd like to give the award to is someone I've also known for years. Um, and this young lady is um, passionate about schoolwork. She's dedicated. She um, analyzes everything really deeply and then uh, thinks about how she can apply it to her own life and her own practice of uh, being a teacher. She is um, a math whiz. Um, she helps me with my math, um, She, uh, which I really needed. I uh, used her this year as I was doing my master's. She did all my math and checked out all my stats for um, what I did and I needed the help. Um, 
and she's uh, meticulous and, and thoughtful and kind, and she's going to be a wonderful math teacher. Um, and this uh, senior award goes to Michaela March. So congratulations, Michaela March. Um, I'm very proud of both of you, and I wish I could hug you both. And um, I can't wait to see you guys uh, once this quarantine's lifted. And congratulations. Good luck next year. It is my pleasure to award this year's Senior Award in Medical Science to Taylor Earhart. Taylor has been involved with the medical science program since her freshman year. She's also spent time engaging in extracurricular activities associated with the medical science program, such as being a student intern in the athletic training room, along with being involved with POSA, doing community service uh, through our blood drives, <clears throat> and competing at the state competition all four years. She excelled in medical science, sports medicine, and anatomy and physiology throughout her four years at Heritage. Taylor has committed herself to the medical science pathway, which will propel her beyond her high school as she prepares to pursue college courses towards a career in the medical field of physical therapy or athletic training. Taylor, thank you for your dedication and passion to learn and to give back in the medical science program. We wish you the best in your career path. My name is Miriam Lansden and I am one of the senior counselors at Heritage High School. It's my honor to present the Counseling Department Award to Braley Randall and Daxton Wildy Monahan. Braley Randall has been an integral part of our Counseling Department um, as one of our TAs this year. She has been described as reliable, kind, compassionate, such a hard worker, willing to go out of her comfort zone to give parents support when they come, tour, give tours to our new students, um, and I know her to be a very strong and resilient young lady. We are confident that she is going to go out into the world and make it a better place. Her quiet, calm, sweet demeanor um, will win anybody over, and we have seen her incredible work ethic, so we know she's going to do absolutely fantastic things in this life. It has been my honor to be her counselor, and I am excited to see what she does uh, with the life in front of her. Congratulations, Bravely. Thank you so much for all of your help and support from all of the counselors here at Heritage. Daxton Wildy Monahan. Daxton embodies uh, the spirit of the counseling department at Heritage High School. Uh, we were able to witness many times um, his humble nature, his compassion for his fellow uh, students. Um, we were able to witness him coaching up friends and giving advice and reaching out to students that he didn't even know. And we wanted to recognize this young man for his strong characteristics that he has um, and his willingness to put himself out there for others. Dax, you are an incredible young man and the counseling department is so proud of who you are and we are excited to see uh, what next steps you take in this life. Congratulations, Braley and Daxton. We are all so very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go T-Wolves. Hi, I'm here to present the award for the English department for 2020. Um, I'd like to say that both of our candidates, our people, are very good students. They've gone above and beyond. They've proven themselves to be amazing individuals and writers and readers. Um, so our first award winner is Manuel Rodriguez. He um, has consistently proven himself to be exceptionally creative and he works and works and works to get his writing to be the very best that it possibly can be. He's worked hard, he's overcome a lot of obstacles, and he is a great guy. Um, our second award winner is Olivia Adams and I've known Olivia for a very, very long time. Olivia was a freshman. Um, Olivia is also a longtime member of the Heritage Speech and Debate team, of which I am the coach. And Olivia is a great person. Um, we love Olivia. Olivia works hard. Olivia has an incisive, direct intelligence that cuts through things and sees the heart of the matter. And Olivia is also able to write 
well and persuasively and um, gives great speeches too. So congratulations to both of our award winners and uh, happy graduation. Hello, my name is Jordan Renta. I'm one of the counselors at Heritage High School and I'm excited to announce this year's recipients of the ELL Department Awards. Our first recipient is Nicole Tapia Garcia. Ms. Loretta, Nicole's ELL English teacher, writes, When I was asked to nominate someone for a senior award, I could think of no better person than Nicole Tapia Garcia. I've taught her for four years and she has always embodied the qualities of honesty and hard work. She has consistently taken responsibility for her actions, been true to her word, and did the right thing, even when no one was looking. Her work, work ethic has also been excellent. Not only did she always complete her assignments, but more importantly, she always strived to learn more and improve herself, even while it was very challenging. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to be Nicole's teacher. I'm very excited to see her earn her high school diploma, and I wish her all the best in her future endeavors. Congratulations, Nicole. Our next recipient of the ELL Department Award is Paul Estiva. I first met Paul about a year and a half ago when he transferred to Heritage from the Philippines. Change, changing high schools in the middle of your junior year is challenging. Imagine the challenge of moving from one high school to another while moving to a new country, a new primary language, and an entire new culture. This is the challenge that Paul faced in November of his junior year. I nominated Paul for this award because he faced this challenge head on with confidence, poise, and determination. Paul consistently strives to be successful while maintaining a great attitude. He's responsible, friendly, and has a great sense of humor. Paul has quickly improved his language skills while also taking rigorous math and science courses. In the future, he hopes to start working at SEH while pursuing higher education in a STEM-related field. His time at Heritage shows me that he will face this next challenge with the same determination and find great success. Congratulations, Paul. I wish you the best in this next phase of your life. Man, that was great. I've been talking about walk-up music at the award ceremonies for years. Um, it was totally worth the 45 seconds to make that bit. Uh, welcome, uh, I'm Phil Maddox. I'll be presenting the math awards uh, for the evening. I've got two awards to give to you. We'll get through those quickly so you can continue with your awards. Uh, the first one is for Joy Lee. Joy, congratulations. A little bit about Joy. Uh, She's taken basically every math class we offer here at Heritage. She's currently taking AP Statistics and AP Calculus BC. Um, she's taking the BC having skipped the AB version, so she's essentially teaching herself uh, calculus, which is amazing. Um, I've known Joy for a couple years in the classroom as well on the tennis course uh, as I coached uh, tennis with her. Uh, some things I know about Joy, dedicated, very hardworking, uh, she will be attending the University of Washington. No hard feelings, Joy. Uh, Sounds like she'll be uh, majoring in chemistry. It'll be great for her. Uh, so I've got a little speech for you, Joy, and we'll move on. Joy, congratulations. Uh, you made it. Uh, listen, you're a tough read on the tennis courts in the classroom. I'm pretty sure I know you a little bit. Um, you're probably not the first kid to ever say that about me. It certainly won't be the last. Um, but man, watching you work has been awesome. You are so dedicated and so hardworking, and it is going to pay off big time for you up in the Seattle University of Washington. Keep up the hard work. Promise me to take a few breaks from time to time. Maybe even go play some tennis. Uh, it's been great knowing you, having you in class, and playing tennis with you. Congratulations, Joy. Okay, the second award goes to Eli Kazuma. Uh, some math highlights about Eli. He has taken every AP class we offer here at Heritage High School as well. He's currently taking AP statistics. Uh, he's taken both AP uh, calculus classes. Great math student. Um, I've known Eli for four years plus. I've had him in class for two years. Uh, been on the tennis team for four years. So we've had a lot of quality time together, Eli and I. Um, man, I'll tell you a lot of stories about Eli. To be fair, he'd like to probably tell you a lot of stories about me. Uh, it's been fun watching Eli grow up, um, being a little bit of part of that myself. It's been great. Uh, 
Eli, too, when they first started talking about doing virtual this, graduation, the award ceremony, like one of the first things I thought of was, man, I'm not going to get to graduation. We talked about me being at graduation over and over, and I'm truly bummed I'm not going to be there. Um, so hopefully this fills in for that a little bit. Uh, Eli will be studying computational biology at UCLA. Computational biology is a thing. I looked it up. Uh, you'll have to ask him and Ms. Brown. Uh, he will do a breakdown there. So I've got a little bit for you, Eli, and we'll move on with the evening. You ready? Okay, pal, here it goes. Uh, hey, big things are in front of you. Big things, okay? There's going to be obstacles. You will overcome them, okay? Uh, make sure you take some time while you're down at UCLA, uh, Southern California, you know, not to be cheesy, smell the roses, right? Um, enjoy yourself. I know you'll do great down there. Uh, you got just big things set up in front of you. Bottom line, I truly hope UCLA uh, provides you the challenge you deserve. I know you'll do a great job down there. Congratulations on this and everything, graduating high school. Uh, do stay in touch. Uh, so both you and Joy, congratulations to both of you. Uh, good luck the rest of the way, guys. To everyone else, uh, hope you have a great evening. I'll talk to you later. Hello, I'm Jay Cobb. And I'm Philip Scanlon. We are the band directors at Heritage High School. We would like to honor the students who have been active in all aspects of Heritage High School band program. They were involved in multiple band classes throughout their time at Heritage, going above and beyond to work with freshmen, share their leadership, and participate in extra classes such as jazz band and percussion. These students have been active in our community by participating in local, state, and international honor bands. Congratulations to the following students. Frost Honrath, Paige Baber, Ashton Blair, and Josh Griffith. Their representation of Heritage High School band program has been amazing. As a Timberwolf, you four have shown our school and community what it means to be exemplary students, musicians, and leaders. With these students' help, they have made our program successful, and that success will be the model for the future generation of band students at Heritage High School. We are proud of you and look forward to seeing you grow as you continue on your path. Thank you. Jonathan Urgiles has been a choir member since his freshman year and currently sings in the Heritage Concert Choir, the Symphonic Men's Choir, and the Chamber Choir. With Jonathan leading our bass section, his Chamber Choir won first place at the District Solo Ensemble Contest. He is an extremely talented musician and his gifts have helped our choirs be among the best in the state. He is dedicated and hardworking, always willing to give his best. It is with honor that the choral department recognizes Jonathan Rodiles as outstanding choir student. Victoria Romhilt has been a choir member for four years. She currently sings in the Heritage Concert Choir, Women's Ensemble, and Chamber Choir. She won first place for the Chamber Choir and Women's Ensemble at the District Solo Ensemble Contest this year and is currently state champions for the Women's Ensemble Division. Tori serves as an officer and her commitment and dedication to the choir is exemplary. It is with honor that the music department recognizes Victoria Romhelt as outstanding choir student. Oh, here. I'm here to present the awards for dance. Uh, we have two dancers that I would like to recognize. Uh, the first is our captain, Lily Sherrington. Uh, she has been on the team for all four years of high school, and this year she just really stepped up as a leader. She came to practice every single day, ready to work hard and to lead her team, and she is the epitome of um, humility and hard work. And the second award will go to Karami Tremblay. She is also one of our seniors and captains this year. Uh, Karami has been on the team for three years and each year she has just pushed herself to improve every single practice. Uh, she works hard and she is also an amazing leader for her team. Uh, these two ladies have just 
been amazing to their teammates. They lead by example and they also work very hard academically, so they deserve all of the praise. Thank you. The first senior award for the orchestra program goes to Abby Rollins for her leadership and commitment to the orchestra. Abby has always set an example of having a great attitude and having willingness to help where needed. She has taken other students under her wing in the bass section, um, helping to create their own little community. For four years, she has had a positive influence on the tone of the class and has never been afraid to express herself. Abby, you will be missed. The second senior award for the orchestra program goes to Zach Lipinski for outstanding leadership and commitment to the orchestra program for all four years of heritage. Zach has participated in every extra ensemble and activity that I have been able to throw at him. This year, he served as the, chamber, as the concertmaster for the chamber orchestra and also learned cello to help the string orchestra. He has played in honor orchestra, solo ensemble groups, musicals, and has assisted teaching younger orchestra students at Burton Elementary and coming to middle school through Teaching Academy. Zach has been nothing but the perfect orchestra student. I wish him success as he continues on to study music education next year at Central Washington University. Thanks for everything, Zach. Congratulations to both Zach and Daddy. Hello, it's my pleasure to introduce two exceptional young students to you. Now, I'm not going to differentiate their contributions to the theater this year. I'm going to talk about the contributions they made, and then I'm going to name them off. First and foremost, dedication. Dedication to always being there for the theater, always showing up always contributing, going above and beyond what anyone would normally expect to be doing. Doing more than they've been asked to do. Not only pointing out problems, but coming up with solutions for those problems. Cheerfully, with a grateful heart, and truly enjoying their time, whether it be on stage or backstage or in the classroom. I've had the experience of knowing both of these exceptional learners for several years now. In each classroom experience, they have scored top marks from beginning to end. And all of our extracurriculars, again, just splendid, exceptional young people. And so, with that being said, the theater departments Outstanding students of the year are Daniel Carpenter and Taylor Earhart. Thank you so much for everything you've given to us, folks. I really appreciate it. I wish that we could be together right now so I can congratulate you in person. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Paula Hill, and I'm here representing the key department. Despite not being able to meet in person, obviously due to all the difficulties that we have encountered in the last couple of months. We believe that our seniors still deserve the opportunity to be acknowledged for their great work in the last couple of years. That's why we've chosen one male and one female to be recognized by the P department for their hard work, their commitment, and their leadership abilities within the class. We would also like to thank these two students for their outstanding efforts to do personal best for pretty much serving as role models to everybody else and for helping us create a safe and inclusive environment. So without further ado, this award goes to Donald McKim and Winnie Carrera. Congratulations. Hi, I am Tammy Brown. I am a science teacher and I am here to present Joy Lee and Matthew Jones, the Science Award. And I had both of them in my class and I feel very honored to have them. They truly made me a better person and a better teacher. And I wanna thank them and wish them the best of luck in their next journey. Thanks. Hi, I'm Darcy Havlin. I'm a teacher at Heritage and I have the honor of giving Way the Social Studies Award this year to the Outstanding Senior. 
So um, both social studies is one of those topics that's a little bit difficult because a lot of the skills that are in social studies also go into other areas. But I think that these two students both uh, have a good foundation in political science and in history. So the first one uh, goes to a student who worked really hard in class, mostly on the Rubik's Cube. But he worked really hard and he was not put into a unit for We the People that was not with his best friends. I'm not sure he loved that, but he stepped up to the plate and he did a really good job. That award goes to Mitchell Lee. He's planning on the fall to go to UW, probably online at the way things are going, but he is planning on living with another T Wolf and I'm not sure Seattle is ready for the two of them. The second award goes to somebody who worked really hard. I think she is probably a good role modeling no matter what she does. Uh, she took on uh, a really difficult unit in We the People. She worked really hard. I was really impressed with not only her skills in research, but in presentation and on court cases. She did a really good job on court cases. She is going to be successful in whatever she does. That is going to um, uh, meet Dalywal. And she's planning on going to UW in the fall and majoring in architecture. It is with great privilege and honor that I present Avni and Caitlin with the French Department Board for 2019-20. These two were unmatched in their ability to get things done, to be creative, to dig deep and figure new things out, and I couldn't be more thrilled in offering them this award. Thank you so much for the experience and you guys are gonna be fantastic at the next level. Go get them. Addy, Addy. Hi, my name is Katie Sukstorf, and this year I will be presenting the Spanish award. The award will be awarded to Maria Galindo Cordova. Maria is a beautiful person. She has a heart of gold and a desire to always be learning. She has been an exemplary model of how to challenge oneself to always look for ways to grow. When Maria first started high school, she was a very quiet individual. In the time that she has been at Heritage, she has continually pushed herself beyond her comfort zone. I remember one time seeing her do a speech in front of her peers. She walked up in front of the classroom with hesitation, her hands shaking a little. She took a deep breath and pushed through. I remember the look of determination and perseverance in her eyes. It is incredible the way that Maria is always wanting to challenge herself solely because she wants to grow as a person. She has a vision of who she wants to be and she's continually working towards that goal. Maria aspires to one day become a Spanish teacher. She has proven how passionate and driven she is as she has tutored elementary students for two years, assisted a third year Spanish class, and has worked to help her younger brother this year with remote learning. Maria, you make the world a better place with your kindness, compassion, work ethic, and ability to always stay true to who you are and who you want to be. Keep being you and let your light shine. All your future students will be better people just for knowing you. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know who I am, uh, my name is Staff Sean Wynn. I'm a U.S. Army Career Counselor here in the Vancouver area. 
I uh, just want to take this opportunity to shout out two future soldiers who are currently seniors at Heritage High School, uh, Antonio Tenehero and Austin Morgan. Uh, they took the initiative, raised the right hand, and listened to the United States Army. Uh, one's a mechanic, and the other one's going to be a cavalry scout. So I want to take this opportunity to shout them out, but also to address everybody at Heritage High School. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, and your families are good to go. Uh, but I just want to take this opportunity real quickly to shout them out. So if you know them or you're familiar with who they are, please just reach out to them, thank them. Uh, but then again, you know, uh, continue to do what you guys are doing. Uh, please try to get out. It's summertime. Enjoy the sun outside. And uh, I'm doing distance learning as well from home, so I understand uh, how difficult that may or may not be. But I hope you guys are all doing safe, doing well out there, and I wish you guys all nothing but the best. We're going to get through this together. Hey, Team Wolves, this is Sergeant Rafferty with the Marines. I wanted to say I wish you all the best of luck from here on out, and I am happy that you guys are finally getting to graduate. Um, I would like to also give a special shout out to Malena Rivera and Hunter London. These two decided a few months ago that they wanted to become United States Marines and in the past few months they have grown tremendously in mind and physically. I do wish them the best of luck when they go to boot camp and I can't wait to work with them in the fleet. You guys have a great rest of your graduation. Mr. Garrison here to award our Senior Student of the Year Awards. This is an award that is a combination of academics as well as athletics and activities and goes to a person who just shows integrity, honesty, citizenship, and setting a great example to other Timberwolves. So this year's Senior Award winners are Savannah Kelly and Colbeer Singh. Congratulations. I'm Yetta Valoria. And we're part of Senior Class Council. Today we're going to be sharing this year's Class of 2020 Senior Awards. For most likely to win an Olympic medal, we have Alex Newberry. Most likely to end up on Broadway, Daniel Carpenter. Most likely to remain high school sweethearts, Hizam Abdullah and Sarah Noy. Class Clown, Nickerson Daytel. Most likely to win the Hunger Games, Daxton Wild Monahan. Most likely to stay friends after high school, we have Jack Alu, Trevor Monroe, and Anthony Key. For the life of the party, we have Eddie Gonzalez. Biggest flirt, Hannah Al-Hilali. For worst case of senioritis, we have Ray Martinez. For most artistic, we have Abmi Dolly Wall. Most likely to be caught sleeping in class, we have Nana Kojo. For most down to earth, we have Gwyneth Dacio. For most likely to, meet, to marry rich, we have Isela Polito. Biggest villa, Cariel Poe. Most likely to travel the world, Eli Kazuma. For best girl, we have Easton Colt. For most likely to be late to graduation, Delana Malola. For best romance, we have Solo Virtue and Isaiah Malauulu. For best smile, we have Liberty Russell. Most changed since freshman year, we have Kevin Nguyen. For most spirited, we have Yetta Valoria and Kulber Singh. For best dress, we have Kennedy Goodich. And for worst driver, we have Kathy Wynn. Congratulations, you guys. Hey guys, it's Gwen again. Now I'll be listing this year's staff boards. So for the hardest grader, we have Mrs. Keller. Most inspirational, Mr. Massart. Most strict, Mr. Maddox. Most outgoing, Mrs. Caton. Most likely to build their own empire, Mr. Angelo. Most spirited, Ms. Michaels. And most organized, Mrs. Nancy Garcia. Congrats, you guys. Teacher who buys the most coffee, Mr. Ryan. The nicest, Ms. Taylor. Most humorous, Mr. Moody. Most bluntest, Mr. Gracie. Biggest animal lover, Miss Del Archipete. Most likely to win the Hunger Games, Miss Gill. 
And lastly, Messi's desk, Miss Deline. Congratulations to all the teachers that received an award. Yay, did it.